Uh, new Frontier. Is New Frontier in here? New, let me know, man. Say something to me, brother. So, what was it like playing with one of my inspirations, Asked Across, on stream? Well, in this video, we're going to go over three very viable lessons I learned by playing with the brother himself. So, let's get straight to that. If you want to see more Destiny 2 content, more sci-fi content, and much more, then be sure, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to join, become a member of the community, as I've now become an official YouTube partner. So show some love. And that being said, let's get straight into the video. If there is one truly very valuable lesson that I learned while playing with Asta Cross, it's that you really want to master and really understand your own loadouts. And I learned that the hard way, of course, I was playing a build that I definitely understood, but it was not catered to the situation or the circumstance that we were in. And so this really comes into play at the highest level. And of course, if you're a new player, it's still important to know this because whether you're playing a Vanguard with your friends or Nightfall or even the likes of a Crucible, just knowing and mastering your loadout is really valuable because long term, it's going to really give you a greater perspective on really what that loadout represents the ins and outs and if you're kind of fumbling between different loadouts all the time not really too sure how they really interact with the circumstances you're in uh, that in itself can actually cripple you and so as i was playing with as across i recognized some some flaws of course in my own gameplay but i also recognized that in a gm situation the loadout I was using, while it definitely did help in some areas, it wasn't necessarily very helpful in the grand scheme of things. So that is definitely one important lesson I learned. It's that you really want to look at your loadout and look at the situation, look at the actual playlist you're playing and ask yourself whether or not this loadout is capable enough. Now, granted, I use TQs. I do think TQs is still pretty solid for the GM, but in my defense, I really didn't know much about that GM. It's actually my first time running that GM. So if I knew it better, I definitely would have played a lot better, performed better. But that being said, in the end, do your best, whether you're a new player again or as a veteran player, master your loadouts, know what's best, and let's move to the next point. So to coincide with what I mentioned earlier pertaining to mastering your loadout, it is equally just as important to adapt to the situation that you're in. And that is because every bit of content in Destiny 2 is going to require you to think differently. Every GM you encounter is not going to be the same. It's going to require you to use a different loadout which will then help to circumvent problems along the way that you encounter, whether it be certain enemies, whether it's an overload champion or unstoppable or barrier. Some weapons may yield great results and some may not. And that's something that you as a player have to recognize and adapt to on the fly. Now, that isn't to say that you can't run your favorite build. Case in point, I ran, you know, my Tiku build with you know, the barrage, bladed barrage, and while it did yield some great results in the beginning of our run, during, you know, toward the very end, of course, granted, in my defense, it was very late in Japan. It was like 2.30 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I was dead tired. And so my mind wasn't really there 100%. But Cross recognized that there was something that could be better. And he suggested that I go with the Celestial Nighthawk, Polaris Lance combo. And from there, the rest was history. So... In the end, if you're a new player or if you're a veteran player, you want to be able to adapt. And this doesn't this doesn't just apply to PvE, but also PvP and even also real life itself. Learning to look at this situation from a bird's eye view will give you a greater understanding of what's important. And it'll open up your mind to more creative ideas and give you the means to improvise when needed. Now, again, 
that should not discredit you from using your favorite build. But again, if you are in a circumstance or situation where things are challenging you and it's not getting things done, then don't be afraid to swap off and try something different and then move forward. So that being said, let's move on to the last point. Now you can be the best player in the planet. You can be cracked out of your mind, but all it takes is one split second of losing your cool for all of your hard work to go down the drain. And as I said before, we're all human. We've all been victim to this circumstance many a time. And I'm sure Cross himself has learned not only to adapt to the situation that he's in and master his loadouts, but most importantly, Cross taught me to be cool under pressure. Now, with such a stage that Cross has as a content creator, I know myself as, you know, being a content creator myself, when you have an audience, the audience is always going to be on either the winning side or the troll side. And you have to pick and choose where you want to focus your attention. And if you allow all that negativity to eat away at you as you play, it's going to it's going to basically get into your conscience and it's going to really fiddle with your gameplay performance. Now, granted, I did not look at the chat while I was playing. I was very locked in. I, again, I was tired. I wanted to go to sleep. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get this job done so I can go back to bed. But in that whole entire ordeal, I learned that as long as I keep my cool, as long as I stay locked in and I have the responsibility to help the team to yield the success we want, it can be done. But it can only be done with being cool under pressure and being very patient. Now, I've mentioned this before in my previous videos where patience is very key. You've got to learn to be patient with this game. Whether you, whether you are one of the best players or you're just learning, there are going to be moments where the game will shock you. We've seen this on stream, even with Cross himself. You know, we've had moments together where he got beamed. I got beamed. And I had to go and save Cross a few times. And so this was a great lesson for me to recognize in that whether you're at the top of the top or you're just intermediate, whatever the case is, everyone makes mistakes. And so you have to learn to just maintain your cool, reevaluate, get back up on your feet and just keep the ball rolling. So in the end, I got to say thanks to Ask Across for giving me the opportunity. It was very random. I wasn't expecting it. But in the end, it was very, very exciting for me to play with Ask Across and getting to see the community cheer and really give us the motivation to finish the race. That was really humbling. That was really satisfying to see toward the end. So I want to give thanks to his community as well for being uh, very supportive in that sense. Yeah, of course, as I said, there are going to be trolls out there, but who cares about them? Our focus is on the positive here. And so big shout outs to Asacross once again. This was a huge lesson for me. And this is going to help me to grow as a player in Destiny 2. And so look forward to more educational entertainment Let's here go! on the new frontier. And once what again, as always, as I'd like to say, I didn't doubt for stay strong, moment. keep fighting, and may the force be with you all. Always. All right? Take care of yourselves. See you again soon. Honestly, Peace. I needed a better loadout right there. I needed something to do precision damage. That just wasn't good enough.